Hello everybody out there and welcome back here once again with the future to another DVD collection update. This is DVD collection update 21.0. If you have not checked out my other 20 DVD collection updates, go back to my channel. Um, make sure to give me a subscribe first of all and then check out the playlist of uh, my DVD and collection update zone. Um, I, you can check out all the other 20 um DVD collection updates that I've done in my .0 series. This will be 21.0 right here. Um, I have a couple continuations from some of my updates that I did for special for Halloween season. Um, I did this Tales from the Dark Side, the complete series special. Um, if you've watched my vids, you know what I'm talking about. If not, go back and check it out. But uh, this is an update that I've made to that one. And I picked up finally the Tales from the Dark Side movie that I talked about in that video that I did not have this. I picked this up for a dollar off of a guy. Um, this was actually said to be intended as Creep Show 3. There was always a rumor about that, but it could be, um, or, or the origin of that could be from Tom Savini's comment about saying that this was the real Creep Show 3 because of the involvement of Romero and Stephen King. So the jury's still out on that. It is a rumor. Um, but it came with Stephen King's Graveyard Shift and April Fool's Day. Um, these two 1990 classics right here and 1986 on April Fool's Day there. Um, this little triple feature bonus, but I got it for a buck and I didn't have Tales from the Dark Side the movie. And the reason I like this one is because even though it's one of them uh, bonus buys, they're not all on one DVD. It is the separate DVDs and the Graveyard Shift DVD is different from the one that I have in my other set. That's another one that I have now two copies of, but Tales from the Dark Side the movie there and I did not have April Fool's Day. Um, but I was happy to make the pickup because now that completes uh, not only a complete series, but I have the movie as well um, that I can watch now in the collection. Um, here is another update I made. If anybody watches my videos, they know that I did an Evil Dead um, special and uh, the Evil Dead trilogy special I did. And they know I have the original Evil Dead, um, Evil Dead 2, which was the one I made the special for. Um, that I finally picked up, and Army of Darkness, have the screw, did, screw head edition here, and the only reason they didn't got called that Evil Dead 3 is because of marketing wise, I guess they thought they would draw more attention with the name Army of Darkness instead of Evil Dead, but in my opinion, Evil Dead's a badass name, so why do you have to do that? But I did not have the fourth effort that was put forward in this series, and that is Evil Dead the 2013 film, which was uh, Fede Alvarez's directorial debut, but it was a vision from the producers of the original classic. Um, and you have here produced by Rob Tappert, Sam Raimi, and Bruce Campbell. And it has Sam Raimi's Ghost House pictures there, as you can see. Um, very, very good effort. Um, it was said to be not only a soft reboot of the 81 film and a continuation, um, but a continuation to the original 80s 90s trilogy so it actually goes along as like a fourth film in the series and instead of evil dead or the evil dead it's evil dead and what i think is kind of cool is that you know they kind of resemble each other on the covers so if you do not know you could be tricked into buying this and thinking this is the original sam raimi you know the evil dead movie if you didn't know any better because the logos are exactly alike Fronts are very similar, except for one's red and one's blue. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. But very cool as it was an homage to the original cover, obviously. Um, very cool movie, too. I really liked it. So I was glad to pick that up for the edition. Um, here is Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Um, I actually have this in a set, but I did not have this version. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo version. Um, and the DVD itself was actually, you know, standard, you know, DVD color. Um, it does not look like this at all in my other, um, bonus buy collection that I had it in already. And I love the cover to this and it's one of my favorite movies. Um, a 1978 classic, um, ran 115 minutes. Um, if I had a Blu-ray player, which I do not, so I do not usually collect Blu-rays, but you have a lot of uh, special features there. Um, but the DVD itself had director commentary by Philip Kaufman, which I did not remember um, my other version having. And I watched it, and Chilling Thoroughly Scary, um, very cool. Leonard Nimoy 
Donald Sutherland, um, Brooke Adams, Jeff Goldblum all appear in this movie. A classic. It's the 1978 class. Actually, their remake um, to the original, old school one. Um, but next here, we have um, some John Dillinger related titles. Um, as I picked up this bonus, well, not bonus, but this two or more movies on one DVD. So I guess it's a little bit of a bonus buy, but pick these up for $2. I pick them up every now and then if I see something interesting. But it has um, Appointment with Destiny, The Last Days of John Dillinger. Um, it had The Warrior Class, Gangster Story, Jerry and Tom, and Two Hands also on it. Launched by Miramax there. Previously viewed DVD packed with recycled paper. Gotta love it. Um, top hits, $2. Previously viewed. A lot of people do not like these, but hell, if I see something decent, I'll grab them. I've showed them in past vids. But it kind of relates to this one I picked up for real cheap off the guy. It's Public Enemies. Um, the Johnny Depp starred uh, movie that they made. And what year was this made? Uh, going to take me a second to find it here. 2009? So it's been some years now. Um, you have the feature commentary there with director Michael Mann, which I would like to watch. Um, I watched the movie itself, and it wasn't very interesting to me. It seemed really long and drawn out. Um, but, you know, with the director commentary, they're always fun to watch. And John Dillinger, I am a fan of those days of uh, bank robbers and stuff like that. You know, when he was public enemy number one. And this is the story, big budget story that they did on him. The big budget film. Um, but I need to watch that last days of Donald John Dillinger first and then watch it and see how close it is. Here is Crimson Tide. Um, this movie here was filmed by Tony, uh, Tony Scott, had Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman. Um, in the face of the ultimate nuclear showdown, one man has absolute power. It was like the beginning of World War III. And one man will uh, do anything to stop him. A powerhouse action thriller. It was a pretty good heralded film. I have the VHS, but I did not have the DVD. I am a big fan of Denzel Washington's act. Both Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman, you know. The Hoosiers, Gene Hackman, Denzel Washington, done some great films. I have some updates coming to some films of his I've picked up here um, in the recent past. Here is um, three movies that have to do with Frank Sinatra as we move right on. It's The Man with the Golden Arm. Picked this up for a dollar, still in package, and it's one of them cheap DVDs. I don't even know what company put this out. Um, but this was nominated for three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. You had Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra excuse me, Eleanor Parker, Kim Novak, and more. Um, it was produced by Otto Preminger, so you can't beat that. Um, a Frank Sinatra film that had three Academy Award nominations. Man with the Golden Arm, I've always heard about it, haven't really watched it. It's funny, though, because on the spine, you know, the top of the movie is usually there, and then you turn it on the side, and it's usually, well, wait a minute, this is upside down. And all the rest are right. Like, you see, the next one I have, Tony Rome, you turn it on the side, there it is, it's just fine with the rest of them, but this one's... You turn on its side, and it's upside down. So that's always hilarious when you get one like that. I actually have a... I can't remember which movie I have that is exactly like that. I think The Ape with Boris Karloff exactly like that. Same thing, so they messed up. That shows you that it's a cheap DVD. But yeah, Tony Rome, another classic starring Frank Sinatra himself. I'm a fan of the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra. Black Mel Lies Murder, It's Just Another Day in Paradise. Gotta love Frank there. That was a later movie. This one here was from, let me see, 1955. And uh, this one here was from, let me check it out here, 1967. So 12 years later, he was Tony Rome. Really good flick there. And as you can see, in my past reviews, I've showed off um, from Frank Sinatra collection, Ocean's Eleven, one of my favorites. This had the director commentary and everything. I did this in my Father's Day birthday special. I had a commentary with Frank Sinatra Jr. and Angie Dickinson. Really good. Um, really good effort. Better than the remakes in my opinion. I don't even own the remakes. Um, I take that back. I think I may have the VHS of Ocean's Eleven. But uh, great film. So I was happy to get, you know, Tony Rome. Um, one that he was kind of heralded for this role. Pretty good one. A fast moving whodunit. And then uh, the man with the golden arm. Gotta love it. 
And I was looking here. Um, the music score legend, Elmer, um, had the uh, Oscar nomination for best music score and an uh, Oscar nomination for um, best actor, I think. Yeah. Sinatra considered this his best performance and the role that earned him an Oscar nomination for best actor. So, yeah. Not too up on Man with Golden Arm, but I've always heard about that. So I'm going to definitely check that out. Dollar unopened. Can't beat that. Sorry for taking a little time there. Should have done a little research there. But here's an essential Ernest collection that I picked up. Uh, DVD. Uh, still sealed in the package. Definitely going to check this out. Six great features. Includes uh, two DVDs. As you can see, it's a two-disc set. It has a... Uh, Ernest Goes to Africa, Ernest Greatest Hits 1, Ernest Greatest Hits 2, Ernest in the Army, Hey Vern, It's My Family Album, and Your World As I See It. Always got to love Ernest P. Whirl. Um, I want to get like Ernest Scared Stupid and Ernest Christmas and all those too, but for a dollar, I could not pass this up, man. Got to love some Ernest. I'm going to definitely throw this in sometime and check it out soon. Over five hours of Ernest. Got to love him. Rest in peace. Um, also picked up this uh, classic wrestling volume one Cascadia Entertainment. See the tactics the pros used. Featuring legends Luthez, Antonio Argentina Rocca, uh, Killer Kowalski, Dick the Bruiser, and Pepper Gomez. Here you can see some of the matches back here. You have Dick the Bruiser versus Gomez, Stanley versus Gagne. Um, oh, wait a minute. Killer Kowalski, Antonio Argentina Rocca. Hmm. He takes on Gene Stanley and Vern Gagne. You have Haystex Calhoun versus Killer Brooks, Lord Littlebrook, and Rolly Hawk versus Handy Andy and Bo Brummel. Moose Shulak and the Mighty Atlas take on the Fabulous Kangaroos. So some definite old school classic, you know, golden age um, wrestling here. And I am a big fan of wrestling DVDs. I do collect them. It's been a long time since I've picked any up, though, lately, because I have the WWE Network, but you can see stretching down there, I have a lot. Um, I have some tapes, too, here. WWE, I'm a big wrestling fan all my life. But just to show you, you know, Killer Kowalski on there, so I've showed this in past vids, but I do have the autographed um, Killer Kowalski and Bruto San Martino photo, which, get out of light there so you can see it. Fenway Park, Boston, June 29th, 1969, Kowalski San Martino. Um, and you have Kowalski on the DVD, so it just reminded me of that, and thought I'd show that off while I showed this, so, still sealed in the package as well, but definitely gonna pop that open, bought it for a buck. Um, here is Airplane and Top Secret. Uh, Top Secret was brought to you by the guys that made Airplane and Naked Gun, um, and they had to do with this movie as well. Um, there you see Leslie Nielsen. Um, Airplane, one of the funniest movies that... I've ever seen, in my opinion. Um, you can see it was directed by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. Um, it's a classic. I had it on VHS, but I did not have the DVD. You can see Top Secret starring Val Kilmer. It's okay. Uh, not as good as Airplane, but it's from the great minds that brought you Airplane. But it was on this double feature. I really got it for the Airplane. Um, I always like that picture there, too. That's the exact picture on the front of the VHS that I have as well. So, airplane for a buck. Here's Escape the Witch Mountain, a Walt Disney Films classic, family classic. Um, this was a film directed by John Huston. Um, it's a uh, really good movie, too. As you can see there, Disney's beloved family classic returns with a fantastic new trivia bonus track for the ultimate Witch Mountain enthusiasts. Um, you can see some paranormal UFO activity up in this. Um, you have um, 1975 Disney Studio album. You have audio commentary there too. Um, really like this movie. Um, good effort here by John Huston. Just checking out some more here. 
Um, but if anybody knows, I am a Disney fan. I did this update too. It was a special update on my Disney clamshell collection. I don't have Escape from Witch Mountain on uh, Disney clamshell. I was just thinking there, but it'd be nice to have. But go back and check that out as well. I've made some updates, but I'll get to that in my VHS collection update that I do next. Um, but yeah, Escape the Witch Mountain. I was happy to get this. Um, just kind of looking over a little bit on it. Good movie. Classic. I remember watching that as a kid all the time. Here's Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, five Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. It was the greatest manhunt in history. It's about the hunt for Osama bin Laden. Has some really good actors in this. Um, you can see Golden Globe winner Jessica Chris Jessica Chastain. Sorry, um, but uh, you have some special features there. No small feet. The compound geared up and targeting Jessica Chastain. A look at the role of Maya. Um, audio commentary would have been cool on this, but it don't look like they have it. Um, Best director, Catherine Bigelow. Yes, it was directed by Catherine Bigelow. She also um, had a hand in The Hurt Locker. Um, no, it was writer-producer Mark Bull, who was 2009 picture. Yeah. The winning team of Catherine Bigelow and writer-producer Mark Bull. So, the, yeah, they won the best picture with The Hurt Locker, which was a pretty decent movie as well. Um, but I was glad to add Zero Dark Thirty to the collection. Here's a wild one that I picked up. It's called Nabonga. I didn't pick it up. I didn't pay anything for this. He just gave it to me for free. A classic tale of Beauty and the Beast. Reminds me of like a knockoff of Mighty Joe Young. Um, when treasure hunters seek down plane, when treasure hunters seek a downed airplane in the jungles of Africa, they encounter the pilot's young daughter, now fully grown and protected by a mammoth gorilla, which I am guessing is Nabonga. Um, just a strange looking DVD too. Just says DVD movie made in USA. Um, hmm. All rights reserved. Very strange movie, but it was sealed and not open, and he gave it to me for free, so I told him I'd check it out. On the side, it just says Buster Crab and DVD video. Sorry for the pauses there, guys. Some of this stuff, I'm just kind of checking out myself. <laughs> but, Nabonga. I gotta definitely check that one out. Um, here's an update that I made, because in my Halloween Horror Special, which everybody needs to go check out, if they haven't, I had William Friedkin and William Peter Bladke... William Peter Blatty, sorry, The Exorcist Extended Director's Cut. Well, in a stack of movies that a guy sold me for like 10 bucks, he had... William Peter Blatty's Exorcist 3. I do not have two, but this is from the creator of the original Exorcist, so I uh, couldn't go wrong. I couldn't pass it up. Um, so it does have to probably tie in a little bit with the first one. Um, so, yeah, made an uh, update there. One of the creepiest movies of all time, by the way, The Exorcist. And I'm coming down to the last DVD here that I'm going to show off. And the DVD that I'm going to show off is um, none other than, and that wasn't that one, but uh, Marked for Death with Steven Seagal. Um, this is a classic that he was in. Um, definitely a good watch. Has some uh, bonus features there. But uh, yeah, that's the last one I'm going to check, check out, guys, on this update. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching, as always. Make sure you hit the subscribe, give me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Um, and yeah, until next time, guys, for update 22.0, it's been real as always. You gotta love it. And as always, till next time, peace out.